Okay. And now we can take the elevator down. I pray there is a fairy down here that I can catch in a bottle. Wait, do we still have a little more puzzle to do? We have blue floor right there. Red floor. Oh, I forgot about this room. This room is interesting. So, yep. Yeah. You can spin the room. Okay, we, we have a Skull Wall Tula right there. Oh, double Skull Wall Tula action. What were y'all doing in here? Yeah, whatever. I don't care what Skull Wall Tulas do in their own privacy. It's no business of mine. I'm just doing this just to end up. Whatever. I ain't afraid to break pots with my sword. Just kind of hoping there would be a fairy in one of them. Alas, twas not. Or twere not. Or twerent. Any English is not my strong suit, even though I speak it. Alrighty, alrighty, and okay. Uh, let's try uh, pushing it again. This violates, like, at least 12 different laws of physics, but, you know, whatever. Oh, okay, we have this switch right here. All right. Are we good with this layout? I assume so. And this last push should net me the boss room. Curious as to what would be in that chest, though. Probably rupees. Oh boy, arrows, because, you know, I, I don't have enough of those. Not yet. I, I, I need more arrows. Oh man. It's pretty great. Wait, wait, okay. I guess it takes one more push. Can I please fight the boss now? And where do you lead? Back there. Oh, so now I can go through the where the gate was. You mean to tell me I was freaking timed? Wait. Oh, of course there was something hidden right there. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Why am I saying fair enough? That was actually a very dickish move. Whatever. And it's in the same layout as... The one where we can access the boss room, so that's good. And we have the boss key from way back when. I am going into this with a single fairy, but this boss isn't too bad from what I remember. I mean, I remember this boss being like really easy, but because I haven't played against him or this version of this boss in ages, but I think I will do fine. So now we climb the steps into this little place. Atrium. I, I don't know the proper term. All right. Yep. See? All's well. Well, then we can just go ahead and leave then. Oh, no. Three spikes. Link cannot possibly navigate around those. And there he is. Ganondorf. We're about to beat the game, everybody. We are about to beat the game. Forget the other sages. Oh no, it's Ghost Rider! No, it's Evil Spirit from Beyond. Phantom Ganon. So now we're fighting Phantom Ganon. I like this boss fight. It's just so cool. But yeah, he rides into the painting. So you need to figure out which painting he's coming out of. Okay, and when he comes out, you want to screw up everything? Don't you want to hit him with an arrow when he comes out? I'm screwing up already. 
Okay, yeah. Oh, and they sp the the electricity spreads out to the things, spikes. So if I stay in between them, I should be fine. Am I hitting them? I hope I am. I don't think I am. Okay, first person view. Yeah, I am, well, I'm definitely missing a first person view, but I just want to see if he is taking, like, actual damage from this. Where's he coming out from? Okay, I need to start playing, like, with some kind of intelligence here. Yeah, this is not going well at all. Is this what I want to do? Oh, okay, I actually have to hit him while he's coming out of the painting. Okay, fair enough. Why do I keep saying fair enough? Oh. Yeah, see, he is easy once you know what the hell you're doing. I knew I had to hit him with arrows, but it was like... Yeah, these actually aren't hitting him. I guess it would still work if you hit him while he's out and about, but... He's just a lot easier to fight like this. Alright, and now we go to the second form of Phantom Ganon, which is other bullshit. Because we're playing tennis. And I'm not good at tennis. Okay, and then when he's down, you can fail entirely at what you're trying to do. Alright, I have a fairy. It doesn't matter. I'm good. Alright. Come on, you phantom bastard. Oh, that missed. Okay, come on, come on. It doesn't matter, Link, you have a fairy. Get the hell up right now. This form is not hard at all. He doesn't take too many hits now. Okay, well, if he's at point blank range, you know, it, it, it kind of, you know, screws you up. And then... Alright. Come on, Phantom. I actually need to do a better job of hitting these. <laughs> this perspective. Crap. Come on. Come on. It's not hard. I can do this. Apparently I can't. I am not about to die to you, damn it. Oh my god! If I die to you, I will not be able to live it down. I will lose all my gamer credit. Not like I had any to begin with! Oh, okay. Oh no! Ganon! Phantom! Ganon, please die! Oh, okay. Yes! He's dead on the final heart. <laughs> okay! That was tense! <laughs> I should not have had that much trouble with them, but... Ugh. And I like how he's just, you know, taunting us through his phantom. 
No, no, don't do that. Phantom Ganon didn't... I mean, to be fair, he did almost kill me, but now you're gonna just banish him to the Shadow Realm? Hey, come on, Ganon. I thought you were nicer than that, yo. Where's my heart container? There we go. I kind of need it. Oh, man. That was such a horrible show of my alleged skill. <laughs> but whatever, at least I persevered. <laughs> I managed. I managed. And this might be a longer part, but I don't really care. And we're in the Chamber of Sages, the Forest Sage. We're about to find out who it is. It's Saria, who has not aged one bit. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria. Yeah, we we know. Sage with Forest Temple. She's been awakened. I was believed that she would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Well, it's not like Link was going to. He can't talk. It's destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. Aww. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. And that is why I don't ship Saria and Link. Because, well, you know, she'll never age. Okay, well, technically she's probably like, you know, in her mid-hundreds. But, you know, the Kokiri people, they stay as, you know, in childlike forms. So yeah, it just wouldn't work out, that age gap. You know, plus if they went out in public together, people would look at Link like, what the hell are you doing with that little girl? And then he'll be stoned to death. And, um, yeah, you know, plus she has to stay here in this little sacred realm to make sure that Ganon can't, you know, take over the world. That's why it wouldn't work out. But anyway, we got the Forest Medallion. Saria will always be your friend. Aww. And we're right outside the Deku tree because reasons. This reason. <laughs> Technically, he was still screaming while he was on his back. So that's just funny to me. And that is the Deku tree sprout. Yep. We broke the curse on the forest temple, and a new Deku tree can be born. That's kind of, you know, messed up, just writing off the old Deku tree in favor of this one, but whatever. None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. Must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hillian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. I like how he's just the extension of the old Deku tree, but whatever. Oh, we're actually getting more plot? Oh, damn, I might have to uh, split this one up then. Okay. Fierce War in our world? Mm-hmm, of course. I, I mentioned this in my little like, Zelda lore thing. One day to escape from the fires of the war, a Hillian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. I mean, I guess this is just here if you didn't watch the uh, Legend of Zelda lore thing prior to this. You know. Yep. Gravely injured. Entrusted child to Deku Tree, guardian spirit of the forest. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We went over this. Of course. I like how the Deku Tree is practically talking about himself in the third person. Plus, I like how whenever all these little flashback things happen, or like, you know, way back when, this is what happened. There's fire in the background. You know, the boy was raised to Kokiri, and the destiny day has finally come. You are a Hillian. We're always bound to leave this forest. Aww. And now, you have learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Raoru already told us about that. Just saying. You're, you're kind of late on this Deku tree sprout. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you again. I, I know who you are. O okay, now you're just repeating the same thing. 
freaking okay. So yeah, that's it for that. Um, next time we can make our way to the next temple. So is somebody gonna give me a hint? I, mean, I I know where I need to go. Uh, the fire temple is next, but is something else about to happen? Oh, and I like how, you know, none of the monsters are around, and yay, they come back, and they don't know who I am. Yes, you have. And yep. Well, okay, all of them came back except for Saria. Because, you know, she, she has to just stay in the sacred realm and pray. Constantly. Yes, I'm Link. You've never, I mean, you just haven't seen him in seven years. There's no reason for me to go in there and buy anything, so yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Where's Mido at? I want to kick him in the face. There's Mido's little slave right here. Some fancy fencing. All I've ever done is tap B all my life. I think he's making fun of me. I will not stand for that. I like how they all know about the Deku Tree Sprout, even though, like, none of them have gone over there. Because they're just psychic like that. You're looking at him, kid! Yeah, but I don't want to warp his mind. You know, just blow it with these, like, you know, sick mind games that Link's all grown up and he just can't even recognize them. I forgot I have Kojiro in my possession. And Epona was waiting right out here for me. Good horse. Oh yeah, before I end things off, let's do something that should have been done a while ago. Also, while we're on Epona, we can fire arrows! Like a true hero! Yes, we can go to the house of Skulltula and get a better wallet because holy crap I need it yes okay yeah whatever I wish I didn't skip through that since you destroyed ten spiders of the curse the curse is starting to weaken did the kids who return to normal give you any rewards you should know that the only way to become very rich is to destroy as many spiders of the curse as possible there are some tricks to finding them all. First of all, you'll have to hunt at night. Secondly, keep in mind that they love soft soil. Pay close attention to your surroundings, please. We're counting on you. All right. Didn't mean to skip through all that. No, you're not normal yet. Yes, I understand your curse. Which one of you turned normal? Oh, uh, yeah, here you are. And you're doing calisthenics, okay? Or calisthenics. I, I never knew how to pronounce that word. He's doing exercises. His aerobics. Whatever. His yoga. We can now hold triple digit rupees. Adults are allowed to carry a lot of money. Now you can hold up to 200 rupees. And this also carries over to, you know, you and kid form too. Alright. So with that. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day and see you next time for some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest where we make our way to the Fire Temple. Goodbye.